A door is a curious thing. Fashioned by necessity, it's the portal to home times. An heirloom on hinges. It frames the beginnings and tail ends of days. When small feet return from school with ruddy cheeks, and commuters race home clutching at keys, they all enter to get out of the chill. Painting doors is an art form. Everyone wants a door they're proud of. Choose a day ripe for painting doors. No rain or hail, please, and definitely no wind. Begin by removing the brass furniture that makes a resoundingly tinny clang that says, Postman, favourite aunts, or kids are home, and riles the Scotty dog behind it. Now sand the door bare, scrubbing back years of knocking, leaning, greeting, meeting over the threshold. Make sure it's clean, dry and free of fingerprints or conspicuous jam stains. Place masking tape across the glass panes of the door. This will protect it from flecks, as no one wants involuntarily stained glass windows. Now prep for your colour painting one section at a time. Apply a layer of exterior wood primer and undercoat. This strengthens the door's defences against unruly chipping, allowing your colour to remain remarkably unmatched for years to come. Whether it's Sudbury yellow to make up for the dimly lit days or an alluring austere drawing room blue, apply two layers of top coat with long purposeful strokes following the pattern of the undercoat strokes. After two coats of your exterior eggshell, you'll notice you linger, just a little, beside your door, hoping a passerby will recognise it's yours. <laughs> 